Hey guys, Nick here and today I want to show you how you can integrate Vienna Mirror Pro into your DAW as a standalone plugin so you're not hosting it like uh, in Vienna Ensemble Pro like I uh, explained to you in the previous video so this time you can use a standalone application of Vienna Mirror Pro as you can see here when I minimize it it just goes back into my DAW so this is like the standalone application of Vienna Mirror Pro that's uh, being used as your convolution uh, plugin uh, to be hosted uh, to be used with your DAW so what I have here basically is a, a sort of like a jazz trio uh, drums upright bass and a piano and all of them are sending their signals via mirror pros uh, plugin here uh, which is hosted inside my uh, DAW here studio one so I have one on piano bass and drums and I will ex and I have that standard uh, Vienna mirror uh, miracle uh, algorithmic uh, reverb which is just used to enhance the sound of of mirror pro as you can see there is nothing going on here on my master channel so one thing that i wanted to, uh, to test here is basically how to create a live jazz performance like in the old days when the musicians and ensembles were being recorded recorded all together in the same room no editing no anything because all the sound came from the room so i opted for a wheeler studio live room in a wide setting here which is one of my impulse responses that i have here and uh each one of my instruments here inside studio one so the piano the bass and the drums they have their own setups here inside like the drums are here uh there's not a, a, a there is not a preset for like in the percussions for like a drum set so i just used a, a cardioid uh setting which is like general purpose cardioid and i just tweaked it a little bit so for my piano I use the Bösendorfer Imperial close mic uh, because my uh, piano uh, sample uh, sample performance was uh, actually clo close mics only. So I use that and my upright bass as well here. I have my on my output settings here I have a stereo MS cardioid setup here which captures the sound of the ensemble and the reflections from the walls I have my stereo 115 degrees cardioids here set up so just to give this type of you know reflections just a little bit to it make it all sounding roomy so uh, this is how it sounds right now So as you can see here, uh, when instruments are playing their signals, they will just bleep a, a tiny bit. And I can move them fairly simple, I mean when you move your bass, it will go more into your left speaker and your piano. But I kind of want to keep them just fairly closer and inside my DAW I have an effects sent here which is the addition of Vienna Mirror Pro the miracle algorithmic reverb which I have set up at uh, Wheeler wide room it's just the enhance here there it is 1.6 seconds Wheeler wide live room wide enhance and I just have just maybe just a little bit more reverb and all of these are being sent so you can use Vienna Mirror Pro not just for you know layering your uh, orchestral instruments and setting them up inside of an orchestral hall to create that big sound you can actually create live band performances and small chamber uh, performances of like you know uh, a couple of chambered instruments here like a cello uh, two violins piano cello violin you know the, you get the picture you can put them in, in a smaller studio uh, if you have recordings uh, you recorded some live musicians fairly close and dry and you want to 
uh, get them uh, sounding in a really nice and warm room. I highly recommend the Studio Wheeler uh, responses, the mirror pack uh, from Vienna's website. You can go and check it out. It's it's really, really nice and, 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 and warm. And just by using the Miracle, uh, you can just enhance that just a tiny little bit to give it that algorithmical tail. And this is how it sounds without anything. So if I bypass all of these, you see, it's even clipping a little bit. It's in your face mostly, you know, but once you put it and you can control here all the aspects of every sound here you have uh, it's divided into Vienna mirror pros uh, interface is divided into the instrument and output so instrument is your control when you click on an instrument that you want to edit you just click on the head <laughs> and then you can create like the character of the instrument you can make your piano sounding a little bit more silkier than pure you know we can use that I can go on drums and I can get my drums biting a little bit you know and then you can make the piano sounding a little bit louder and then your room equalizer here I, I have set it up as a default here but you can you know tweak it any way you want so for example you can just get the room tone just a little bit and maybe give it some more ah there we go and this is where you set up your main microphone here that you have you can also create your own user presets and you can load them in and your secondary microphones here which is uh, these two guys here. This is your main microphone. These are your uh, secondaries. And without the mirror, without the miracle, this is how it sounds. And just maybe put miracle in itself has a fairly, you know, pretty cool EQ. Subs, maybe make everything sounding cleaner, and that's the way you use and utilize Vienna Mirror Pro as a separate uh, instrument, as a separate plugin, of course, uh, which is standalone, and you can use it as a uh, reverb input algorithmical uh, not <laughs> sorry uh, not the algorithmical reverb but the uh, convolutional reverb that you can set up your instruments your small uh, ensembles chamber ensembles jazz bands and everything in a live room to get that studio quality sound opposed to using mirror pro inside Vienna Ensemble Pro and hosting all of your uh, orchestral instruments inside of it in a big concert hall. So yeah, I highly recommend it uh, to at least test it out. You can download a demo of Vienna Mir Pro which is like active for 30 days and all the packs that you uh, that you can test and see which one works the best for you for this type of sound for a small ensembles and and bands uh, i highly recommend the studio and sound stages uh, pack which has the studio wheeler the teldex and and like the orf studios just go ahead and and test them all and see which one works best for you and you won't regret it i'm i'm quite sure you won't be regretting it this is something that's really really helpful in making your uh live recordings dry recordings come to life so get yourself uh, a demo license for testing and you'll see what i'm talking about i'll see you in the next video bye